back at the Fine Wine and Good Spirits store in Paoli, Pennsylvania. We're here today with Chef Patrick Fury of Nectar in Berwyn. Thanks for having me. Thanks yes. for being here. It's a pleasure to have you again. I love your Asian fusion that you do, the sushis, the, the mix of ingredients you use, but this Today you're doing something that's more seasonal. Right now, you know, we're going into the holiday season. It's, it's really fun, and uh, we're going to work with um, some butternut squash, and um, and I like to use pumpkins. We're also going to have a little bit of garnish of like some cipollini onions, which are really really fun and sweet. First thing we're going to do is I, I like to do is to work with the squashes to roast them out, and, and I feel that it gets a little bit of extra flavor in there, and also what what it does is it gets them nice and soft, and it also doesn't um, introduce any liquid into it as well, so it gives it a good meaty texture and flavor. So, so now when you roast them, do you roast them with the seeds or without? I've without the both. seeds. Okay. Yeah, I do. I, I like without the seeds, personally, because it, it, it gives it a little bit more even cook throughout the whole, the whole uh, squash. So. I'm glad you're cutting that and I'm not. I've, <laughs> I've, I've wound up with stitches cutting one of those before. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a little dangerous. Discard the seeds. Actually, just kind of like coat them a little bit. A little olive oil with a on them. Oil, yeah, yeah. The olive oil heats mm -hmm. up and it kind of just sears them a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to pop these into the oven. Um, I put them in at three, 350 degrees. Uh, they take about between 35 and 45 minutes. We have some cipollini onions. We're going to want to get those roasted out while these are roasting out. Once they get roasted, we can put them on the side and let them sit, and we'll use them back later on when we're ready to plate. The key to these is really because they are they are small, and they um, is to get them in there and really caramelize them. You don't have to be nervous about actually getting a good color on them. And they brown up nicely. Usually, yeah. So. Yeah, they do. Okay, so we're gonna check out our oven, see how our pumpkins are doing. Wow, and look at that, how nice they browned so. up. And really the one way, I mean, they are hot, so if you wanna take a towel or something and, um, you know, just take them and kind of test out whether they're soft or not, and that's really what we're looking for. We're gonna make our dumpling uh, mix. So we take our squash and we're All just right, gonna pull it out. This one. Yep. We're gonna pull it out of our I'm going to get this out of your way. spoon. If you can just turn them over, let this caramelize. Continue. They're adorable. Okay. We also have some of our handy dandy. A little ginger. Ginger. Yep. I yep. love these. I use yep. these all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, just ginger are you adding? I'm going to use ginger. I'm going to use garlic. Okay. And I'm going to use parsley. The garlic. Garlic. How yep. many do you need? One, just one. You can pop it in. One. Beautiful. See that? Perfect. Perfect. All the work is done for you. And the parsley. My favorite herb. You know, even though these are. Um, these are frozen, they, they're really pliable anyway, because they're fresh. We can just mix them in there. Any dumpling isn't a dumpling without scallion. Like that. This is fun. We're gonna make our dumpling. All right. Now, this is one of my favorite. There's a lot of different shapes of dumplings, and this is one of my favorite because you can get a nice crispy sear on it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna touch it with water. You're gonna roll the top of the dumpling halfway up. Mm -hmm. A little bit of, a little bit goes a long way in the dumpling. I'm gonna fold it like a half moon, okay? And then you're gonna hit this corner. Luna. And then just like a tortellini. Wow. And then what I like to do is kind of press it with my thumb and it makes it flat. You wanna try one? There you go. Right. Okay, so fold it in half. half moon. Touch it here. All right. Bring it like this, fold it. There you go, now pull it around. And pinch those two ends. Right, you got it's it. hard. You got it. Oh, there you boy. go. Perfect. Okay. okay. And then just when you when you. No, it doesn't look as good as yours, and doesn't you stay do that, together. It just stops there. Beautiful. Next thing we're going to do with our dumplings is that we're going to blanch them. After we blanch them, then we're going to sear them. So we're going to do blanching first. Okay. So we're going to pop these in. We got a boiling water. Just throw good. them in. Yep. Just throw them in there. All right. They're, they usually take about six, seven minutes. Get a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to drop these in. And what I like to do is on this side, you see how they, we have the folded side and mm -hmm. we have the non-folded side? Drop the folded side in first. Folded side down. Yep. And then you flip them, right? Yep, and then we'll flip them. So we're just going to get them a little bit of a uh, little bit of texture on them. Get so how do you flavor. pull all this together into one so dish? So now we're going to now we're going to plate it. I'm going to just give them a quick flip. Got a nice caramelized color on there. We have our cipollini ends that we had from before. These are good good little centerpiece for the plate. Yeah, I think these are uh, fun, nice and caramelized. Go all the way around. Woo! <laughs> that is it one was hot pan. The, hot, the hotter the pan, the better. Okay, chef. This right. is just the dish that I want to dig into at this time of year. Oh yeah, you can really tell that that's got a nice crispy crust to it. Mm -hmm. 
That is incredible. Texture's nice. And the the sweetness from the cipollini. Mm -hmm. And the sage. It's yeah, this excellent. is fun. And this is a good, even like, um, you know, like half this dish with, you know, some steak or even some fowl. It's great. Some I venison. can see how it works. I'm coming mm -hmm. to the restaurant for it this <laughs> season. I can't wait. Thanks, Thank you. Patrick. Thank you very much. Thanks. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.